All right, let's play this and check your email. Um, you are saying here, he's still working on the speed up during the flight and landing. And you animated on the first 130 frames again from the beginning. And you're using, I was slightly confused about this one, you're using the overall controller to move the rig in space during the flight until frame 100. Well, that makes sense. I would do the same thing. Um, okay. And I had keys on the chest, hips, and root controls. So it's hard to figure out based on the curves what happens in world space. I don't have any keys for the root control now, which moves chest and hips. That's kind of confusing part. You should redo it. So yeah, you don't have root control. Yeah, I know, I'm, I'm slightly confused. Um, the, f the way I took it first, uh, basically the way I do it is how you have it here where you have a, an overall controller for that, as if it was a kind of a spaceship type of thing. And then once I get touchdown, especially on something here where you might have a hard hit and you can have a bit of a faster move, then I stop moving the main controller and I start moving the root. And then the root does the whole thing and then you do the chest and the head, you know, for overlapping. All that, <coughs> excuse me, all that good stuff in here. So I'm not quite sure if that's your approach, if that's what you're writing here. Um, so let me know in an email what your process is there, if I can help you with that. Um, but I thought I thought that's what you meant. First root control, uh, first overall body control, and then into the root. But then I'm confused where you're saying I don't have any keys for the root control now. Uh, you are mentioning you didn't touch the wings, so I will uh, not comment on the wings. They're the same comments as before. Again, the right idea. Sometimes you want to look at silhouettes or, you know, not moving at all, stuff like that. Now, for the beginning, definitely has that speed up still, which you mentioned, so you haven't gotten to that yet, so that is still on your list. I think it feels a bit slow. Right, especially through here. This might be because it comes straight at us towards camera, so the speed is kind of missing. But it could also be, be just uh, slow down here. Oh, yeah, it feels slow. Can I? Can I increase? I can. Okay, let's see here. Pew, pew, pew. So it's for the beginning. I'm not sure. I don't see a percentage in this player in terms of speed control. It's on a quick time there. It's a bit faster. It's a little bit slow. That's obviously too fast. Also a bit too fast. Kinda, it kinda works at that speed at the beginning. Looks like it's a bit slow through there. So it's a bit tricky. Let me see here. Playback speed, normal. Definitely slow there. And I think feels like arc wise you flattening out a lot here and then come towards us i think you can go a bit wider into something like this and then yeah it seems like you're hitting this point and then now we're kind of stuck there yeah i could kind of drag a bit more into there otherwise yeah same same list kind of the uh the speed up there and you got a, a big thing will be the wings as well you know there i will probably have that one a bit lower and then you can kind of vary the the wings a bit so you, it's good that you have it starting like this go into that but you know then you will avoid that super flat shape it gets a membrane fluttering tips will be dragging a bit all that good stuff is definitely going to help and even through here, I would probably bring up the legs just a little bit. So then through that, you can get into this. So they're kind of dragging a bit and then go into what you have here, which is cool. Uh, offsets on those legs, stuff like that. Kind of loosen up that beginning. It just feels just a bit stiff and slow. If that makes sense. Speed up there. And then that still feels very fast. That head up here from here to here. 
given the weight and the momentum, boom, it would take a bit longer. It just kind of shoots up a bit. And then also does a bit of a, if you track that nose here, 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 and then down. It's kind of a very, very quick change. Oh, oh. That feels a bit big. I mean, you can easily, you can try keeping the timing, but just only go, you know, if that the eye is here, right? Let's see, he's that low and then this high. So if we move to here, just have the eye up until here. And then on your drop, maybe a bit higher. It's going to reduce the nice snakiness, but I'm just curious as a quick fix just to see. It's going to slow it all down since it doesn't travel as far. The movement will be slower. It just seems very fast right through, through there. Boop, boop. Even this here. But the tricky thing is once you get into something like this, then you just start translating up and there's no rotation in it. It helps that you have a slight rotation uh, sideways here. You can see how the horns go from this to that, but then you could probably push it where you start like this. And then here on the way down, you actually, this horn is up, this horn is down. You can continue that rotation to see the underside of the, the mouth here. And then as you go into this, you could end up again in this pose, if that makes sense. That way there's a bit more follow through and there's a bit more rotation there. I like your roar though. That's cool. And then probably as you continue with the details, choo -choo, push off is cool, you know, toes and stuff, but you're gonna get to all of this. But I would um, offset these guys and then have a little bit of sliding, given the, the nature, the ground and some dust and sand, whatever it is. There'll be some sliding just like here, which is cool. A little bit of messiness here would be neat. Even on that last one, Two frames, slide forward. Still love all those steps, those are cool. Looking at that last step, it looks like you have a little bit of push up here, but I think you could push it a bit more. It's such a strong step, bam! that you can have, imagine you're rotating like this, the 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 chest back and forth over two, three frames. Very subtly, but it could be like you would almost see a little bit of jiggle. It's a little bit impact jiggle there. Pow. And I think you have it on the elbow. Yeah, a little bit at the end there. Pow. It's tricky. I'm not sure if that's then the deformation of the rig when you take the steps from here i do see stuff going up here take a step there there's definitely movement in here but i don't know if you have also more movement in here give a bit more rotation over just a bit more especially through here as this steps and puts all the weight on there i love all this here i guess it does rotate it's a bit tricky to see with this here there's enough influence, but it's could be the, the rig. I just feel still you could push it a bit more. Especially something like here when you're this low. And then you put that weight on there. Just have a, a more immediate reaction on this. The chest rotating over just a bit. I think it's overall better. I'm trying to find some elements where you can just push it a bit more. It still has an ever so slight feel of... Everything is located in here, and it's a bit soft up there. Check out the head. It's cool. That's cool. Watch out. Just through here, that head suddenly turns into a bit of an IK move where it just everything is translating up in a very straight line. That doesn't quite affect here. I, I feel like there's a break here, just visually, how that head goes up. Body goes back, head goes up very straight. Feels a bit odd where you want to bring that head over and back a bit and give it a little slight nose up rotation. It just gets very, very straight. We're kind of falling 
straight line through there. And then here, right there, check the head from here to here. That feels very even in timing. If you watch this and till this feels like in your graph editor, you have some animation thingy and it continues. It's just a little moment of just a linear curve there. Still feels a bit, it feels like this gets is more involved now, this part of the neck. I think this is getting definitely better. It still feels a bit isolated in here where it just kind of just the head goes up versus a little bit of it just feels like it just kind of moves up here versus a little bit of forward and back. That would trigger a bit more forward and sideways movement. Just something where, imagine the head doesn't go completely straight up, but a bit maybe away from us, a bit closer to us. Just something a bit more complex. I'm just concerned that this looks like it's just a separate head controller bringing the whole thing up with, a, with something else in here. It doesn't quite feel connected. You can see it in here too. Um, this part here goes up. It feels disconnected from the head. Turn the drawings off right through there. You can see how it's kind of broken right through there. So imagine, and it could be very subtle as you go back, as I mentioned, when you don't want to go up in a straight line here, it gets so even. During that even thing, you can potentially bring the head back, which brings back the, uh, the translate with a slight side rotation. And then as you go forward here, you can go forward into what you have here. So it goes back a bit then forward and then into this. And that will connect the body going uh, back and forward into that. I think the head roar is better too. So watch out at the very end, we're losing it a bit where that feels a bit separate, that rotation in Y, but mostly at the end. And it's very, very much at the end, but something that feels almost kind of locked and just kind of stuck in space there. It's also all that jaw movement and there's no real movement in there. Like it feels that that jaw tremor is kind of isolated and doesn't quite affect this. Again, this is at the very end. And it does feel a lot better. There's something where, again, we're losing a bit of the body connection. You can see how this part of the neck goes up a bit here. Right there. Where suddenly it just feels that's stuck somewhere, that's stuck somewhere, pinned in world space, and then this neck is moving separately. But it's better. So if you do another pass on that, I think it would be good to go. Just a painful polish process with long necked creatures. That being said, I don't think it's, you know, it's a deal breaker where where it just, like, I can look at it and I can scrub through it and kind of go back and forth. And like, hmm, yeah, that seems potentially you got to go in there and fix some things. But to me, this would be all at the very end. I would absolutely get onto the wings to make, make that, you know, give it more weight on that, that path here to the disc a bit further. I would work on that. Definitely the, wing, the wings here, the speed up here. And there's the wings through all of this so that all that is locked, you know, so you don't have to lock um, wings there. That I would do first. That beginning, wings there, that flight path, and the speed up. And once that is done, you're in a really good spot. And then it comes up for details and the wings so they don't look so dead. And only after that, I would look at what I talked about here with the head. I mean, the head linear pass here and the timing, that section through here and this kind of separate head move. Uh, would be highest on the list uh, after this whole beginning part. But I think the beginning part uh, is more important. Then you can get back to cleaning up the tail a bit. It's not so stiff as those hiccups. Like the, did you change the drop on the kid's head? Oh. It feels really good for a guy.
experimenting with on that tremor oh, on that hit that can in there you have a little bit of jiggle in the chest so that feels also a bit connected just a bit so it doesn't this is not completely cut off here but again absolutely better um you know it's picky notes moving this forward all very very cool And then, so you are mentioning you're gonna do one more pass on this and then potentially work on that later. Um, after your final pass, after your next submission, um, since we have, you know, if you get addressing all the silhouette of the wings and kind of final wing position and everything, you, it would be awesome if you can send me the scene. I can do a handheld camera pass on this just to show you what we could do with that. Um, that will also give it an interesting feel. But yeah, keep going very, very close. All right, thank you. All right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.